Today we are at the Williamson County Library and we are celebrating the artwork of fourth grade students in Williamson County Schools and Franklin Special Schools. The artwork is just beautiful. Um, one of the board members had told me that they had no requirements for what type of art was submitted, so you'll see a little bit of everything. There are portraits, landscapes, printmaking, all sorts of 2D artworks. I created a winter cardinal. I did a snowy afternoon. I did Nashville with the Story Night background. I made my artwork a guinea pig and it's supposed to be George Washington. What I like about my, my, my art is like I blended the colors and it wasn't like water colors. I mean I felt it was kind of challenging to blend them but at the same time I enjoyed doing it. We were trying to um, um, make this piece look a lot like um, one of I think Van Gogh's. I decided to draw my brother because I wanted people to recognize that it doesn't come as easy to him with words. So I drew him on a hill um, with the sun setting, lonely, because he doesn't have any people that really truly understand him. The thing that I know best is really autism, so I decided to draw that. And I don't know how to draw autism without Zachary. It always amazes me to see the artwork that some of our youngest children are able to do. I, I tried to accomplish my goals, but I never knew it would go this big of a goal. It feels pretty good um, because I didn't really think that I could ever have that chance to like have my art be on display anywhere. So I was kind of just like, wait, what? I was happy about it, not really excited. It makes me really happy because my art teacher has been saying since I've done a lot of great artworks, she said that maybe at some point that my artwork could be on display. Art fosters creativity and creativity is what we need as adults in every type of job that we do. It gives them an opportunity to tell the world what's on the inside and what they're feeling and what they see and in their own unique eyes.